Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today we've got Marvelous Marble for September and the colors were black and greens. It's an Instagram collaboration hosted by Skull Lover Nails and Polished Opinions. And today I'm going to get started with Bases Loaded Lacquer on the black. And I'll be using Braves Diva, Pete Van What Are You Wearing, as well as Bases Loaded Lacquer. You remember li my lying, vicious toad of a mother. And I've got my DIY Spot It Clear out. Um, and I'll be honest, I didn't get any cell formation, so I don't know if this is any good anymore or not. But I still had it out, and, uh, you know, we're playing with it anyway. Um, I was really just looking for more of a fluid art, not so much of a cell forming art. I, I'm making one giant decal that I can cut into pieces, in case y'all are wondering, what's this crazy woman doing? Because it is marvelous marble. So you can use any kind of marble, whether it's water marble, drag marble, marble decals like this, stamping to where it looks marbled. You can do whatever kind of marble you like. And today I decided instead of water marbling, I would try something a little different than what I normally do for Marvelous Marble. So I'm dropping dots of black down on the Pete Van What Are You Wearing? And I'm going to go in with some of my homemade DIY Spot It. And I don't know if this stuff has just gone bad or, you know, what the deal was. Or if it never was good. I don't know. I'm not really worried about it. Because um, the manicure ends up turning out just fine. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and let you know I love it. So I did a bunch of spots of that. And now we're going in with um, the, you remember my lying, vicious toad of a mother. That's one of the Golden Girls collections. One of the polishes from one of those. We're just dabbing in some of these colors. And I'm going to go back in and redab some more. But I'm put, and I know a lot of people look at this and they think, oh, that's wasting so much polish. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't see it as a waste. If you end up with an effect that looks unique and wonderful and you love it, how could it have been a waste? Not only that, I own a insane amount of nail polish. So I am not wasting anything. I guarantee you. Um, because this, I did this manicure, and it's a manicure um, that's going to get worn for a week. So now I've picked up my little mat, and I'm smushy smushing. And I'm going to go in and add some more drops of polish. Because that's one thing about this. With that polish still being wet, I can go in and add some more of these colors that I want. You know, like if I think it's, see, in my opinion, I thought it had too much black in it. So I'm adding some more greens. And I might add some more black to you. you just never know about me. But um, I'm just adding some more to it. And I'm going to mush it, smush it again. Probably do some more of that DIY Spot It stuff. Um, and I had the black DIY Spot It from Dance Legend. And I didn't know why I didn't break it out. I guess I just wasn't thinking clearly. I really do like the manicures where the cells form and you got those little holes kind of like pop bubbles look. I really like that, but it wasn't necessarily what I had to have for this manicure. I just had to have a marble. And this is totally going to fit the bill. So, I'm having trouble with that brush. It's gotten all wonky. Getting it back into the bottle. Alright, so we're going to pick up the little mat again. Pull it over and mash it. And mash it. And I'm just going to let it do its thing. Let it go. So there we go. And I'm going to let this sit out. I am kind of holding it to where it'll slide. And some of that polish is moving around. Which kind of sums it up. Fluid art. Just tapping it on the table. And also this helps like slide it out. So that it's not um, too thick. It kind of smooths it out. Like smooth, smoothing out the frosting on a cake. Now... This was quite an ordeal here. Um, topping this decal with some of the Wet n Wild Clear. And I do this because this will keep this pliable because I'm not using these decals until the day after I make them. I made them and then I let it sit 
overnight and a little bit for the next day before I was going to, you know, apply them to my nails. So I wanted to make sure that this wouldn't be all crunchy and crackly dry hard. I wanted to make sure it was still going to be pliable to where they would shape and go around the curve of my nails and lay down flat. And I'm just going crazy with that wet and wild. Getting crazy on it here. But this is the best stuff for, and, um, for topping your decals, especially if you're wanting to use them later. And I'm also going to, after I cut these and get them ready, they'll get some more of the wet and wild on them the day that I do apply them. And we'll get to that here a little bit later. All right, so that's the next day, and I'm getting my little cuticle tool to go up underneath my decal. i got to peel it up off the mat so that I can cut out the bits and pieces I want to use. And this is a lot of decal. I might could have gotten 10 nails out of this one decal, but I was kind of picking and choosing what parts I wanted to use, what pieces and bits of it I liked the best. And so i got my little nippy scissors out here. And I'm just kind of trimming around the outside edge, getting some of the clear off and kind of just straightening it up a little bit. Got some thin parts. Just trimming it up, getting ready to cut it into like squares or rectangles for my nails. You know, just a little bit bigger than my natural nails. And I'm liking this. Okay, got a mess going on on my table. To clean that up and then get to the scissor cutting part where we're going to cut them out into bits and pieces. So this is where I like to kind of look at it and go like that one would look good on a nail and that one's good. So there I've got two decals. Don't, let, don't lay them on top of each other. They'll stick, Tina. Don't do that. And then go around here. Turn it around a little bit more. Cut some more out. Like I said, this was a lot of decals. I could have gotten, you know, full manicure. And you can save these and use them later if you've got a way of, you know, keeping them safe. Kind of measuring it up, seeing if I could get two nails out of this one. And I think I can. So there we go. We've got four of them cut out. And I do hang on to the bits and pieces. And I actually end up cutting out an extra piece. Just in case that when I get down to it and I'm doing my manicure, applying them, if something's not fitting or doing right, then um, I've got some backup pieces that I can kind of paste into the manicure. I don't have to do that on this manicure today, but I'm sure I will at some point. And when I do, I'll record it and show you what I'm talking about. Like if there's like a hole or one piece don't look good, you can just kind of paste another piece on top of it. So I'm going to pull these up and I am going to lay them on stampers. I've got a stamper for each one, except for the extra, because I told you I have, a, I have a spare up in here. And they're kind of sticking to the table, so I'm using my cuticle tool to peel them up. There we go. Get another one up, put it on the stamper. And I'm just tapping them down. So they're kind of laying flat. And it is nice to have a bunch of extra stampers in this situation. Very nice. That way I can do them all at once. And there's my little extra piece here. I gotta set it with them and let it just sit. So I'm cleaning my little mat off from where the decal came off of. Get that all cleaned up so I'll have it ready for the next one. And now I'm going to break out the Wet n Wild Clear again, and I'm going to run over the back of this. The front of it's already been done with the Wet n Wild, but what this is doing is reactivating the polish throughout the decal. And will make it more pliable. So I did that and I set them aside so they can kind of dry and they'll be wet, but not too wet. And now I'm doing my base manicure here. I'm putting on Peelies today from IMK Nails. And I'll be using Brave Diva, Peter Van What Are You Wearing? This is the lighter shade of green in my decals. And I want to do this underneath in case there's like a hole or rip or anything. So that way it's just not naked nail jumping out of it. And I'm not doing like a big full-on mani with that, just a base coat. 
I'm going to top it with some out the door from INM as my quick dry top coat and get it to dry down for a little while. I would probably say about 30 minutes. And then now I'm applying my sticky base from Maniology to apply the decal. It's still a little tacky, but it's not sopping wet and sliding all over the nail at this point. It's just a little tacky and it's a little more malleable um, so that I can get it on my nail. Position it, stamp it down, and then I'm going to take my finger and make sure it's in position and I start mushing it down to the nail all around on the edges, across the tip. I'm going to break out my little nippy scissors and cutting with my non-dominant hand with my nippy scissors. I'm going to trim this down a little bit. That way I don't have as much to clean up. Much, you know, you don't want too much excess up here. Or you could just go in with your clean up brush and just give at it. But this one has black in it and black is a messy one to clean up. Now I'm taking my cuticle tool and I'm just kind of tearing, cutting, breaking apart some of the excess decal. Get my little finger in here and get that off there. And I'm also using this and it's kind of pushing the decal down onto the nail, like sticking it flat up against the nail. And I know this looks scary to a lot of people and you do not have to do it this way. You can do it this way with the brush all the way around. You do not have to use the cuticle tool. And I'm going to tap across the end, try to melt that decal down to the nail and that base polish, make them kind of meld together or melt together. And then we're going to go around the cuticle area. Now I do spend a little bit of time here cleaning this up. Like I said, there is black nail polish in this one and it makes quite a mess on my skin. So I'm going to be very ninny -fied and really go at this cleanup here. I'm going to go around and around. And I don't stay on one part too long because I don't want the acetone to eat stay straight through all of it down to my base polish. So I am kind of like working on an area and then I'll move around and work on another area and then come back to it and work on it some more. Tap it with my finger. And here we go. So far we're doing pretty good. Got to get it by this cuticle line. And I really, really love this. Um, for me, it's like a prelude to the month of Halloween of all the green, black, yellow, orange, white manicures. I'm really, really excited about that coming up. And before I forget, there should be a hashtag down below if you'd like to go check out all the other manicures over there on the Instagram. And um, if I have a list of participants, I'll list them also. Uh, if you would be interested in checking them out, go over there and show them some love, some, give them some hearts, like them. Maybe find some new people you don't even know are over there that did this here Instagrams collab. So now that I'm done, I'm going to go over with Smudge Free Top Coat. And I don't know really why I did this because I'd forgotten I already had the Wet and Wild on it. So you can skip that step if you want and just go in with your top coat. And today I'm going to finish these off with the IMKs Out the Door Top Coat. Normally I use Posh, but today I'm using this. There we have it. Going to cap my free edge here. And that will finish this one up. Here's my swatch photo. I do hope you enjoyed this one. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.